Hey, it's Bob Fibbs, The Retail Doc. I am here in Dublin, Ireland, and I've had the most wonderful time with these two folks. And, uh, well, tell me, um, Patrick, what happened last night? <laughs> well, we had, I got a totally flabbergasting surprise last night at the, the retail dinner. And uh, our family business is 90 years in business this okay, year. 90 years, okay. 90 years. I'm the third generation in the, in the business. And I'm behind the counter for the last 55 years. Uh, at this stage uh, and that but I was awarded a beautiful plaque and it really really knocked me for six I really I wasn't expecting it in any in any shape maker farm I got beautiful compliments and sure. accolades uh, uh, and that which knocked me for for six for a while uh, and that but after when I got my my legs back again uh, I was totally delighted well you should be and who is this lovely woman next to you <laughs> this, this this lady here is my wife Imelda yeah. Tell yeah. us about what, okay. what do you do and how... Okay, so I'm with, we're married over 30 years. 30 years. So I support Patrick all the way. I'm actually a home economics teacher myself, so I'm very into food as well, Bob. I love Irish food and local food. And I run a restaurant on the Wild Atlantic Way, which I'm sure all your Wait, listeners just... would be familiar with in Ireland. And I hope so. Yeah. And it's not they are now. They are now. There you go. <laughs> and I'm in Kilkee in County Clare, and I see Side Town. And it's where Patrick grew up. So we started, Patrick actually started my business for me when I left college. He gave me a loan of 400 pounds really? for my business. 500 pounds. Oh, <laughs> I've never interest. Forget. There was, he's, he's got that. I love that. Yeah, it's and, good. And we so, and, and you both love customer service. service yeah. Yes. I mean, I, uh, they, they were at my keynote uh, yesterday. Yes, that's and right. we just bonded over like, yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. But in a world where everybody's talking about it's all about technology and it's all about knowing, you know, your smartphone and all that, you both have a different version of that, right? How would you say I'd that? say we probably still have a lot of old school ideas and old school habits, you know, and, and that which we were brought up with. Because both our parents were in business uh, uh, before us in, yes. in, in different in different businesses and that and we, we were just brought up that that you appreciate your customer your customer is, is not alone your your friend uh, or a way you make a living out of he's your next door neighbor he's a guy you meet in the street he's a fellow you, you meet at a football match he's the guy that you tug out you know for a wedding for a funeral for any event you know so he's he's, he's actually, not something to take money from no 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 the, the money is just it's part of the transaction fine but it's not the major part of the transaction it's the familiarity the friendships uh, and, and the acquaintances that are built up over over the years and you talked about it as the spider web the, the spider web the cobweb, of community yes, cobweb, yes, excuse me. Uh, yeah cobweb of, of, of uh, in the community yeah uh, and that you know families are intertwined in in smaller areas they're related or they're friendly or uh, whatever and businesses then are are, are, are uh, a part of the uh, the network of the community and and the fabric of the community and they, you know, they, they all cross at, at, at different at different points uh, and that's all and that's what keeps the community like a, strong exactly right? yeah, very much well, very much so yeah and if one, if one part falls Falls down mm -hmm. if the family, if you know, families maybe die out or a business uh, uh, closes down or whatever. You know, th 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 there's a hole in that web, and uh, it takes a long time for that hole to be repaired. That's right, but mm -hmm. it's up to all of you to prepare Everybody that. Everybody comes together, right? though. They yeah, I think that's support each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah. And you said you've started out at seven years old to the. To the, yeah, the, the, the knees of your great grandfather yeah, my, was that it? Well, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the knees right. of my grandmother and yeah, my <laughs> granny. Yeah, my mm. granny. Yeah, actually, yeah, my. At the grocery store. Or something, right? That's right. In the gro yeah, my, my granny and my mother. And my mother had the grocery store. My granny at the store. And my my granny uh, uh, was in uh, at the menswear shop. Her her husband had just passed away the, the year I was born, actually. Uh, uh, and that so you know she in her own right was was a particularly strong woman as well um, uh, during the war uh, in, in we had rationing here in Ireland and she went around the country uh, um, uh, buying butter and, and eggs and exchanging them for tea and sugar mm. From the towns, she was one of the first women in the country to drive. Yeah, yeah she, she, was. She, she was in her own way, you know. Cakes, then. Mm. Mm. She made cakes, cakes then. yeah, Just and wedding cakes, everything the like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the, the clothes shop, it maybe it wasn't that busy, and mm -hmm. she'd make the cakes wow. to supplement. That was his granny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and my mother then had at the grocery shop uh, uh, um, in in Kilkee Seaside Resort, and that was a very busy um, uh, resort uh, at that time with with families coming from Limerick, the city, close enough to us. Uh, and then she, you know, for four months of the year, she opened at seven in the morning. She closed at eleven at night. Uh, the staff, the staff, wow. 
you know, the, the girls. You think you have long hours in a mall? That's that's <laughs> a long time. Yeah, exactly. So the, the you know the the, the, the girls the, the, who worked in the shop with, uh, with my mother uh, left at eight o'clock. So family members plowed in the other three hours. So you know, even though I was seven, eight, nine, and ten, and eleven, uh, uh, that I, I worked from eight till eleven at night. Wow, and we talked about that. That uh, we both, all three of us, share that. Starting off as that kind of a janitor, right? I mean, yeah. that's the stuff that we still notice today. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. stuff that nobody else would notice unless you did that job. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that right. makes that's true. Yeah, that's man. Right. Who, you know, it's, uh, the, the chewing gum stuck to the footpath outside yeah, the door. door you know, the, up and, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, oh, the cobweb yeah. that might be in the corner of the window. But they notice that. See, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, Customers you know, notice that. They, they do. do. Yeah, and so I would notice it. And we are the guys. We are the people that we are the people that end up cleaning it because everybody else. If, if it would pass it. Absolutely, and then pretty soon you look around and you're like, my store looks terrible. Yeah, oh, well, right. that's my fault. Right? Yeah. That's right. That's What's exactly. the biggest and best advice you think you ever received? Oh, God, uh, um, I suppose, you know, my, my mother always had the, the uh, thing, um, be honest in business. Mm. Never, ever do your customer no. wrong. And and, and and she mm -hmm. always preached as well. Which she was a fantastic woman. His man. She was a great business woman. She was always smiling and joking, mm. funny. But she said, treat everyone equally, mm. whether it's the guy with the big car or whether it's the guy that's on his little bicycle up the road. You treat everyone equal. And she was as good to the whatever every person that came in her door. She treated them with respect. See, I think that's the that's, that's the, the secret. It is yes. But you got to train that. Because yeah. right now we've got every kid has got something nasty to say on a reality yeah. show about somebody else, right? <laughs> and it's funny to say something, but yeah. it's not funny to hear someone talk bad about one of your customers, is it? No, no, no. no. That's no. a horrible no. moment. It is, it is. Yeah. and yeah. it's it's one that we, you know we 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 wouldn't allow our staff to do. We wouldn't do it ourselves, so we wouldn't mm. allow anybody else to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody is treated equally. Everybody is treated the same, uh, with with the utmost of, of respect, uh, in in every way. But as well as that, treated in a very friendly manner, and that's the main thing, the friendly manner. So you start off being friends, and then just go from there. You're not waiting for them to like you first. You got to like them first. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that's yeah. But yeah, mm. we do, yeah. And I, I suppose we, we're in such a, a small and close knit community as well, uh, uh, and that we're we're and we're in business for so long in the, in the, in the community. Uh, you know, we'd have a certain reputation, possibly. Uh, you know, and and and. Uh, and, and, and uh, 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 the reputation would be good, so you have to uphold that reputation. I think you have better than a good reputation. I think you have an amazing <laughs> reputation, my my friend. You know, we talked last night uh, towards the end about being story collectors. I think that's just a great, yeah, yeah. that's just a great idea. Yeah. That um, and we were talking about the like you're you're outfitting people for graduations and that's for right. weddings, yeah. but you're also kind of a counselor, right? You have some I, I, stories I, along that line. You know, we, 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 that's the thing. When, when you get so close to your customer, uh, like we do, uh, uh, and over the years, you know a bit about their background history, you know, the, 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 with when marriages or deaths mm. or mm -hmm. you know, problems of any, any sort, and, that, and they come to you they, they, automatically, because they, they know that, that Burks will sort me out, mm. you know. And we often get a guy in on a Saturday morning, he's going to a wedding that day, uh, he needs a suit, he needs a shirt, he needs a tie, yeah. he needs a haircut, and the, the suit might need alterations. We have our own in-house tailors, we have a barber in-house, we'll iron the shirt for the guy, we'll turn up the trousers, uh, we'll, we'll uh, lace the shoes, and I've actually often even polished customer shoes myself. So I wouldn't let them out. Perfect. But see, I think that's good. But because all you're selling is a feeling. That's mm. right. And you want him to feel a certain way when he walks that's out there, right. and you're giving it to him. That's a yeah. big gift. Mm. Yeah, and to feel, let let them walk out feeling a foot taller than when they came in. And and that's the other thing that I thought was really great about uh, Patrick that they added the barber shop. Because uh, and you were telling me about um, the uh, rugby, uh, the uh, uh, from uh, uh, McGregor, right? Oh, Conor McGregor. Oh, yeah, Conor oh yes. The what did he do for menswear? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. Conor, uh, Conor McGregor was uh, the best thing that hit the, the Irish fashion trade uh, in the last forty years, I'd say, since the Beatles, maybe. Uh, um, Conor McGregor, he's, he he dresses well. He, he he puts a lot of time and effort into into his appearance. 
from his hair through his beard right through to the very fashionably crafted suits that that, that he that he wears so he, he is he has become a, a, an icon to the to the younger people of Ireland uh, and that obviously a, a, a very successful fighter yeah, right, uh, yeah. and, um, and now becoming a very very successful businessman but his wardrobe is what really uh, took off in Ireland the, the copying copying his look and that yeah. grooming of the beard, very, right? Yeah, That's very what bought him much, much yeah. of the barbershop. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, 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 we, we noticed that, that not alone the check suit, which was his signature look with the waistcoat, uh, and that, but the way, the way he tailored his, his, uh, his hair, his beard, and that, you know, we, got, we said, we got to have this add on. We have to add bolt on this to our business just to complete, complete the look. Well, and, absolutely. And very successfully we did it. Yeah, I love it. Very that. successfully. So um, we um, also talked last night. So so uh, when Patrick, when I were chatting, out of nowhere, he picks out one of these from his pocket, which we have three here. Unfortunately, you can't get it. And I don't know exactly how to even pronounce what this is or the slitter, game. Slitter, slitter. Slitter, but I want yeah, you to tell me um, what is, uh, and you have a video, by the way, about behind these as That's well. That's right, yes. But yeah. uh, what is your goal for this? Uh, this is a, a sporting <laughs> goods uh, yeah. Ball. This is this is your traditional Irish slitter, which we'll say would relate in England to a cricket ball, okay. or in 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 America to a baseball. Yes, right. Yes. Uh, it's played with a, a stick uh, uh, um, uh, of ash. Uh, you know, ash is the timber that's used in it. It's a very very fast sport. This ball travels at over 100 kilometers an hour uh, when it's hit. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, so it's it's quite a, a, a an iconic sport, really. But uh, um, our county, County Clare, uh, uh, won the All Ireland, which would be the equivalent of of, of winning uh, World Series, World Series. In America. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so I bought five thousand of these from Pakistan, uh, where they are made because they're, they're similarly made to to uh, a cricket ball. Uh, uh, and that is what. So what we do now is that we launch this World Schlitter Challenge. Uh, just this uh, week, I think. Th that's yes. right. Yes. yes. So anybody going on holidays or uh, uh, on an expedition or any sort of a trip, uh, we give them to to, to our customers, right. uh, uh, and then and take them off with them. Take a, a photograph in front of an iconic building, place, uh, wherever, anywhere in the world, uh, 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 and send us back the, the the photograph on social media. Uh, uh, the best the, the best photograph every month wins a, a makeover. Uh, oh, so yeah. the, I didn't know there was a. Price. Yeah, I thought it was just well, a, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, but as well as that, what Patrick has really surprised me is that from the photographs that we're getting, how far around the world and how um, out of the way places that not alone Irish people but Clare people get. Yeah. We have That's we right. have from Alcatraz, uh, uh, we have had from from pool parties in LA, but we all have also from the other side of the world down Tasmania, and we've even had from base camp in Everest. Oh my goodness! Yeah, where a local a local guy. Mount Everest, and again, too. think about what it is to carry yeah. this. Yeah. I mean, you're packing your product <laughs> yeah. just to be able to take a picture of it. That's yeah. it. I mean, yeah. that is that's yeah. the epitome of loyalty, yeah. and it didn't come from an app, yeah. folks. That's right. It came from this guy yeah. doing the hard work of a of coming up with a, well with great marketing yeah. things too. Yeah. Coming up with an idea, right? Come, yeah. So exactly. tell me about your yeah. socks too. I love oh. your socks. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, anybody who purchases a suit from us, we we give them socks, and the socks have our name on them. So if somebody admires admires the, the suit that you're wearing, and that then they say, "Well, where did you get the suit?" You just pull up the leg of your trousers. There, that's right. the guy, Patrick it's, Burke. It's right. On his socks. It's right there. I love that. I love that. And it, and again, it all comes down to having fun with it. Nice. And the and the idea of that one stop groom. Yes. That that even if the guy didn't think of it for 24 hours, you, he can still be a winner with you. Oh, yeah. Whereas in a lot of other places, like. We can't do that. Yeah. You should have been here a week ago. Yeah, you, right. We can't. We can't. And you have a lot of testimonials on your page too of people saying you outfitted the whole that's, wedding party. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know what, what we often say is that is, is that the impossible we can do at once. Miracles take a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> and what we I love do, that. what I we do that. is, we, you know, I, I, I will say to uh, to uh, anybody, young or old, it doesn't make a difference, uh, that I can knock three years off you by showing you how to wear your clothes properly. Mm. 
So we can have three years. So hold on a second, because I think that's really fascinating. Mm -hmm. So give me one tip. <laughs> yeah, so because I, although I get tired of my clothes, I think that's the problem with me. But yeah, well, funny. It, it, well, you have to if you have if physically, phys, yeah, physically, if you have the the, the, the within reason of a, of a decent shape, uh, by wearing the silhouette of your of your of your jackets a little bit neater. Neater, yeah. You know, does so uh, it mean a little tighter? Tighter, yeah. yes, yeah, a little bit tighter. Not, I don't mean painted onto you, no, but I mean fitted. Okay. You know, for Yep. On, onto you, uh, and that it, it actually shows the contours of your of your Absolutely. body and your shoulders much much better. Absolutely. Whereas if you wear your 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 garments loose, they sag on you, but they actually make your body look like it is drooping as well. Yeah, you know? yeah. So little things like that. The I proper length in the trousers and wearing the trousers. Proper on, on length your, the trousers were my hip. pet peeves. Aww. Yeah, guys, yeah. that get short trousers too short. Mm -hmm. It makes you look short. You don't realize it's all about looks. I used to sell cowboy right. clothes. So the way we yeah. would so the way we would talk about it is, you know, cowboy clothes have that yoke up here. That's and right. you'd say, So if it does this to your shoulders, what's it do to your waist? And they would all just go, You'd be in front of the mirror. What's, if it does this to your shoulders, what do your waist? And they'd be like, You're like, exactly. And it was just fun to see their eyes like, Wow, really? That works? Like, well yeah. It's all about that image. That's true. That image and that feeling. When when I started it in, in, in the menswear end of it in, in the early seventies and that the Lariat tie. Sure. The fry, right. which is the cowboy that look. Was that was actually popular at the time. Oh. The, yeah, and then the cravat. Oh, right, yeah, right, the right. Hanky, uh, yeah, the, right, the, the, the bandana right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, that was another idea that was Are you going to bring that, that back? I can see it happening in maybe... Uh, it, 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 see, the other thing that I noticed with fashion too, fashion changes with hairstyles. Long hair brought in bell bottoms and, yes. uh, and low-cut denims and everything yes, like yes. that. Shorter, neater hair brought in more formed, more fitted clothes. Mm. So the hairstyles have to change with, uh, before, oh, before the fashion will change. And at, at the moment, it's all clean cut. And it's all really trim. I'm that's not right. that trim anymore. Yeah. I'm 60. You're, you're not bad. I'm not bad, yeah. but, no, you know. No, no, no. no so I have one of my favorite questions I ask. So both of you have to answer this. Right. Okay. So you have a friend. They've just rung you up, and they said, I want to have coffee. I want to tell you something. So you go to coffee. It's your favorite place. And they say, in your case, I wanna, I'm want to. i out to open a restaurant. I want to open a restaurant. I've always wanted to open it. What would you tell them? What would I tell them? Actually, there they are. Speak to them right there. That's your friend. Um, well, I, I own the restaurant with over 30 years. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very hard work, I would tell them. I start every morning at 5.30 a.m. And I do start with all the baking, because we make everything on site. Every morsel in my restaurant is homemade. So I would say to them, they need to learn the product first. They need to be trained in the product. I think the person that thinks they can open the door, they have a lovely fancy idea that they are going to have these little tea rooms and they're going to be dressed up like I am today and, you know, and walk around and that everybody else will do the hard work. Yeah. Uh, they won't. You okay. need to understand the product. You need to understand, well, why did that cake sink today when we were making? So, you know, I would spend maybe a month in my quiet times testing recipes, making sure flavors are correct. You know, we did it there only a month ago with coffee cakes and lemon cakes. Are they lemon enough? We need to get them more lemon. How can I get them more lemon? I'm testing Well, couldn't I just the buy butter. all that from a supplier? They're not good though. They're not good. And what and will happen the to the business? That's the secret of my success. What will happen to the business? If we go down. There's no and way. And they'll close. Artificial and they last and a year. That's it. And what's happening here in Ireland now is that everybody is buying the products because labor is very expensive. And in the summertime, in my restaurant, in the peak weeks, we have up to 30 people working. Right? And it's, because that's you, what you need. That's what you need. It's labor yeah. intensive. And that one point I wanted to get to mm. also was the way you said, um, got a little, there we go, uh, was that you started off with, I'm there at 5.30 every that's day. That's right, I am. And that's what I'd like to tell Kind of like you were talking about, it's, it's you got to put the time in if you're yeah. going to be in business. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have, yeah. you've yeah. got yeah. to put yeah. the time. Yeah. And it could be seven days a week more. All weeks with me are nearly seven days a week. Yeah. I might get home and I might get home. I might be the last person out because I'm checking. Is everything there for the morning? Is everything right that when I walk in the door at 5.30, that I've no hassle. That you I know that it's ready to go. Yeah, that I, it's ready to go. That's huge. Patrick, That's what, would Patrick what would you well, add? What would I say? Uh, so a young man or young yeah. woman says, I'm going to open a... Well, our son uh, is there, I suppose, yeah. maybe in a couple of years. Okay. Time. Oh, okay. So he might be down the road, but maybe That's it's right. up for him. Yeah. But anyway. yeah. well, I, uh, well, if you're starting from scratch, you have to have a passion. Mm. And nothing, has to, nothing can be left undone. 
uh, and nothing can be a problem to you. You you, you have to overcome. You will you will have to overcome lots uh, 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 of of problems. So nothing can phase you, and nothing should phase you. Uh, finance in Ireland at the moment is probably the biggest thing. Then after that, okay. and that it's it's impossible to get finance to start any business in Ireland at the moment. Okay. Uh, the banks have just more or less shut up shop right, right. Uh, as they've had over the last 10 years so typically there are very very few businesses starting up uh, and that uh, Imelda just alluded to it there and, and I would definitely confirm it uh, that knowledge of what you're about to start up uh, uh, courage isn't enough you need knowledge as well as courage so uh, but I but I like clothes isn't that enough no. I like to buy clothes. Isn't that yeah. enough? No, no, not a, no, no, no. Isn't that what it is? Because yeah. no. yeah, no. I just like to buy clothes, so I'll be successful, right? It's like no. No. you won't know though when if this guy's suit is fitting him correctly. You know, you want you know you won't have the knowledge then. You won't know the knowledge of a cloth or the shirt or what's a good quality. Patrick travels same all the, over the, the world. Yeah, the right. same as my ingredients. What's yeah. good? What's mm. bad? I buy always good quality ingredients, and people say to me, God you buy all that much butter in Ireland we make we do a lot of cakes with butter and all our, our even our scrambled egg for the breakfast and people say oh, do you buy all that and I say but I get it back I get it back so all I have to be just the best on the street everybody tries to copy then once you're there you I think oh you my said gosh. that yesterday That's you've That's only it. got a little short time and then they're on the bandwagon copying and I have had that over the years big time Big time. Drive you nuts, and then you just and have to say, so just, just stay true. Just drive ahead again. Just and, yeah. and just drive ahead again. And bring another product on that people like and zone in on it, maybe. And like we have a very successful carrot cake. Everybody tells me it's the best in Ireland. My God, it's the best in Ireland. And you know, people come for it. They just come. We're a destination. So you don't do that. You buy the average stuff. Now you've got to spend all that marketing. That's right. Right? Yeah. To yeah. say, please yeah. come to try me yeah. yep. and have average service yeah. and have a sort of yeah. lemon kind of cake, yeah. but it's not yeah. exceptional. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have passionate followers, both uh, of your, your businesses. We're lucky we have. Yeah. Now, yeah. And the other side of that is I would never discourage somebody from following their dream. If they want to start a business, I would definitely encourage them. But I would also advise them that they should get a mentor of some sort. Okay. You know, be it a person who has been through the mill, uh, or, or uh, advisors uh, who, who can guide them. But I would never discourage them from following. Or go their, work in a store first, dreams. or something. Yes, yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah, very much that. Because yeah, it's, much that. it's. I think it's fun to say you're the business owner, but the reality is we're all salesmen. We're all salespeople. That's right. We don't That's eat right. unless somebody buys. That's and, right. and until you understand that, it's easy to fill up a store with pretty stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it's your money sitting there, and you're like, no now money. what? Yeah. Well, my team this evening. That's, all my that's money right. Is tied up. That's all yeah. my money is yeah. in inventory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and that, that happens in a lot of yeah. businesses. There was a, a, a talk I, I listened to, late, to lately there, and uh, the, the guy, he was in the coffee business, and he, he called them uh, uh, breadline entrepreneurs. A lot of people in business uh, who start up business really are on the breadline. Everything is tied up in their business, mm -hmm. they're not turning over enough. You know, they're not uh, able to get enough out of it, and they're just struggling from day to day. Yes, you know? yeah, you bought yourself a job. It's not really yes. a business. Yes, you bought yourself a, hobby. a job. I'm that's a very good it's phrase. Bought, bought yourself, yourself a job. A job. Yeah. That's yeah. good yeah. idea, yeah. 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 You know? So, So tell me, what would you, I don't want, you've been generous with your time, and we, if you can hear the clanging, we've just finished breakfast, and they've been so generous uh, today with me. What would you think, a, um, what's your definition of great customer service? Well, everybody thinks they have the best customer service. You know, uh, and it's so true. I never think that. No. I always think we can be better. Okay. I, and my my thing to my staff is that uh, my co-workers, I don't call them staff, don't be honest, they call them co-workers and friends. Uh, uh, Did you get that distinction, star, co-workers and friends, not staff? Not I love that, keep going. Yeah, you know, uh, five-star service. So you know, I looked at hotels, I looked at the quality service that hotels give in, in the five star market. Is there anything that I can bring to my business from, from the, the likes of, of their service? And, uh, and, uh, so that's the kind of, of uh, ambition that I would have for, for our business. Uh, that uh, Everybody tells us we're good. I don't 
uh, 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 realize, possibly myself, that we're as good as we are, and but I feel that we can do better and strive to be better all the time. But that speaks to the same thing you're mm. doing with your recipes. That's right, yes. Yeah, it's a great carrot cake yeah, it's today. A good, yeah, it is. But you know, it, all the ingredients have to be good, and the person making it has to be careful that everything is weighed properly. You know, yeah, so, yeah, you yeah. know, uh, that's that's the important. And then it's it's down to the servers in my restaurant and whether they're smiling today. And So you know, how do you train that? I, I do a training day with my staff to make sure that they, are, that they understand every product that we have okay. and they understand our area, that we're on the Lupaid Peninsula, Wild Atlantic Way, so that we have our foreigners as well as our locals in, that, you know, you're able to say to people, you know where you're going today. You, a lot of people come to see the Cliffs of Maher, which you probably have heard of in, sure, in, in sure. the States. And uh, we have beautiful scenery and cliffs. You saw them yeah, in our video lovely, last lovely. night, beautiful. And uh, we try and make sure that people coming to visit have a good experience in the town, not just in my restaurant, but in the town. So you're really, that's customer service that's for the area. That's for it. Area. Oh, yeah. ambassadors yes. for your area. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's very it. much so. Which yeah, I certainly get so. from both of you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And you, know, you, asked us, you asked me there about it, and the one thing that just struck me there now is we, we, we hire uh, for attitude and smile and you can train the rest mm. attitude and smile attitude and smile mm. Mm -hmm. yeah because i can tell you to smile Positivity but that's not sincere you have it has to come yeah mm. that's it, it yeah to painted on smile is not good. no no it has no. to be natural smile so attitude and smile and you can train the rest yeah no i would agree i was at uh, i did a speech much like yesterday yeah. so i do a speech and before i go in it's a buffet breakfast and like this and, and i do my speech and at lunch i um I'm going back through the line, and one of the servers says, how'd your, how'd your speech go this morning? I was like, really? I mean, th that was pretty exceptional. And she goes, well, I saw you had a full house, and did it go well? I said, it really did. And it took me back because it was just saying, I care about you, that moment of, in your life. Yes. Just that's I'm that much. I'm interested in you. I'm interested in you. I'm interested in you. It's not just like, here, go yeah. away, go yeah, away. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And I think that's Next the key piece. with you. Yeah, 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 right? very much so. Because you probably yeah. see people from very young, mm -hmm. And I imagine, sadly, all the way right, oh, to, right through to, to, to death, death yeah, probably, that's true, yeah. as well. Well, uh, years ago when we were, 10 years ago when we were 80 years in business, we, we ran a competition to see could we find four generations of the one family who were shopping with us. <laughs> I know I, I, I could four. remember I, I could I could I actually could figure out three to four families who had three generations but I was looking for somebody with the fourth generation you know we ended up with three different families with four generations working or at least wow. purchasing from us at the time that's amazing ten years ago that's amazing yeah. and people think loyalty is uh, they got points on a card loyalty <laughs> is four generations coming back to you and you're still around so um, I, I, you've been generous with your time um, it, when you feel overwhelmed or you kind of like you lost your way or you're frazzled what do you do oh, what's your secret what's my secret because um, you have a lot of irons in the fire both yeah, of you yeah Lots well I, I, well yeah, yeah. for if I, a bit yeah. of physical activity is what i like okay. uh, uh, exercise you know and if, if i i don't i in my younger days i never participated in sport unless there was sweat involved <laughs> and, and now even today i can't watch sport without sweat <laughs> <involved>. <laughs> uh, and, and definitely even in my own in my own instance uh, uh, and that i i cycle now i had a knee replacement a few years ago so running is gone from mm, me now yes but i cycle now okay. and and uh, i like the fresh air in, okay uh, for, uh, for, for that's that. always good clears my head always definitely good clears my head mm, you know? the cliffs that you saw in the yeah video. lovely, mm, lovely. Mm, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. i will show you all that uh, yeah. that link when we yeah. get around to it and so my name of my podcast is tell me something great about retail so tell me something great about retail well, I think you could go on and on. Yeah, no. Well, I didn't. Because you're the, he's like the greatest ambassador for retail in the world. I mean, wouldn't you all want to be able to walk into his store or into her restaurant and meet these people? And I get to meet them today halfway across the world in Dublin. So. Yeah, right. But for me, the, the, the greatest thing about retail is actually to be a part of it. To be working in it, to enjoy what I'm doing. And to be successful at it. Yeah, to be successful. Yeah. That's, you want to be That's the greatest thing about job. retail for me. Mm. Good. Good, I like that. Yeah, and I like to be good at my job, as I said to you earlier. You know, I, I'm in the wild Atlantic way, and I want to be a destination. I want people to come to me for good food, for good quality food, good local produce. 
you know, I'm not into convenience foods or that, so I want it to be a destination and I want to be good at my job. If I, if I could build on both that, I think what you both want to do is give people a feeling when mm -hmm. they come yes, in contact with your right. brand. And that's, and right. that's really the key. That, mm -hmm. Tell me something great about retail is a feeling. feeling. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've had a lovely time with you today. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Imelda. Really you have been so lovely. Fantastic. And Patrick, thank you, thank you so it's much. It's a pleasure for both of us. And who knows where this is going to end up around the world. So thank you very much. Much. <laughs>